Okie doke, what's up everybody? And I realized I forgot a light. Okay, there we go. And now, like that, we are good to roll. So if you guys like what you're seeing, uh, definitely hit the old like button. Thumbs up like a cool person. Yeah. Thumbs up, bell notificator. That's a thing now, the notificator. As well as hit the old subscribe button because I do have content coming out. So, the video today is all about the three things that are easy to do that will make your content look that much better. Point number one, it is hands down the most important part out of all of the points that we have today, and that is lighting. Before, I blew out my face in the last video because there was one last part of this that I didn't quite get. Distance of the light to your face will make a huge difference in how much light hits it and it puts out a good amount of light i'm actually very impressed with it now that i actually got this and then it clued in after i loaded it into premiere just a watching donna's video on how he color grades or was it his i think it was an actual video on how he lights his videos i'll link it down below but he was talking about the rule of electrification or lighting or whatever he calls it, I can't remember. But basically the amount of distance between you and the light will affect how hard or soft or the amount of light wrap there is or the amount of light in the backdrop and all that kind of thing. And like a dumbass, I didn't even think of that beforehand. So I set up both my boxes, blasted myself with light and it looked worse than Casper the Ghost. This is where you are going to make or break the shot that you're getting, whether it's a cinema shot, a YouTube shot, or a photograph, no matter what. So the key with lighting something, <clears throat> you want as big of a light source as you can possibly get because the bigger the source of light, the more diffused and the softer the shadows are gonna be. So you want as big of a box as you can get or as big of a light source as you can get. So, light. You wanna pump as much light as you possibly can without blowing anything out into your shot. Because what that's gonna allow you to do is have everything nice and crispy clean, but then you can also go in and control where the shadows are and how intense they are. It's gonna help your saturation, which just blew my freaking mind is when I figured out that more light equals more saturation. More light is just gonna make a better image. Now obviously if it's blown out, it'll be way harder to recover a lot of things and it's just way figure out where your balance is gonna be. But number two, what kind of story are you telling? Okay, so point number two, tell the best story you can, whether it is a pair of gloves a bottle of wine, an empty bottle, a broken plank on the side of the road, it doesn't matter what, if you're telling a story of any kind in that photo or video, cinema scene, whatever it is, that is what the key is because a photo or a video scene for the sake of a video scene or the, the, fa the sake of content is where you are just gonna lose everybody instantly. But if you have a story that is visually told, whether it is you just got home, you lit up a cigar, grabbed a drink, and just chucked your EDC down on the table, boom. Then you now have a story with that, and that is what will visually grab people. So tell a story. That is your, that will save you so much of a headache down the line, especially if you can intertwine a feed in Instagram or Twitter, YouTube, whatever. If you can tell a consistent story as you go, then that will save your butt so much. So that's number two. Number one, again, light your scenes properly. Two, tell a freaking story. Make sure that the story you tell comes through. And number three, and the hardest but also the easiest, props, accessories, and your background. In my background here, background, <laughs> the backdrop of this shot, my window or my blinds are open just enough to give you a little bit of view into that, as well as the fact that I've got my rim light. I've got my key light, as well as the backdrop lights, which basically just add to the background of him because it looks fantastic. Having some candles in the background just kind of flickering and doing their thing. It also matches my 
uh, rim light, which is my little newer LED box with the uh, tungsten filter on it. And then the backdrop lights themselves are $15 Amazon fairy lights. I, once I found uh, Brandon and Wolfel's stuff, oh my gosh, I became an, a fairy light addict. You can do the exact same thing in photos. All you have to do is find a way to prop up whatever you're shooting. Say I'm shooting a bottle of scotch. Simple as that. All I have to do is grab something and put it in the center of the room or however much of the, the room I want in the shot so that I can get as much of either the lights on either side or the top or bottom. It's, in this case, I have control of it. I could shut the fairy lights off. I could shut off the Christmas lights. It, just, it doesn't matter. If I'm shooting a product photo on my table, I could use whatever I wanted. I've literally lit up an old cigar, stuck it in a little bowl. It's a little jar behind a bottle and just lit the ever loving crap out of that thing so that it gave off this cool plume of smoke behind a bottle. And it's just a matter of your background or your shot having the texture, the props, and a backdrop. Starting from the beginning, we got lighting, making sure it's lit properly. Two, tell your story. No matter what you're doing, tell a freaking story in that shot because otherwise you're not gonna connect. Number three, backdrop, texture, 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 as well as props. You can use anything as a prop. You could use a freaking colander as a prop. All right, guys. So that is the three things that will make your content more visually appealing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out more videos every Monday. Yeah, every Monday to start your week off in the right way. So have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace.